the grill. This is the freaking grill, guys. King Harley Race. The figure that only comes one to a case, which means that it's going to be super hard to find. What's up, guys? Shay from Body Slam here, and look what we have here today. We have a whole case of the new WWE Greatest Hits 2023 collection. Already snipped the box because you guys know from previous videos that it takes me forever to cut the box open, but we are not going to waste any time. Already see the figure that's on top. I'm already excited about these figures. So, all right, first figure out of the box is Seth. Freaking Rollins, well, Seth Rollins, when he had just broken away from the Shield. So this Seth figure is from the Money in the Bank Elite Seth. So this is uh, just out of the Shield. Uh, he won Money in the Bank. A year later, he committed the heist of the century, as Michael Cole once said. And this was the first figure from that singles version of Seth Rollins. Very nice figure. Um, kind of a sought after fig. It's not overly expensive, like a $60 figure, if you can find the original. So this is a really nice figure to have. Uh, to have this one for, you know, just $20, $22, $23. Very nice figure. I like this a lot. Um, the, the facial scan is not the greatest, but he comes with the Money in the Bank briefcase, and he comes with the... Universal Championship, which is really cool. So Seth is the first figure out of the box. Ah, next up, we have DDP, Greatest Hits DDP. So this figure, I'm kind of wondering how the heck DDP got a Greatest Hits already, because this is from the Legends line. So this figure is maybe a year old, if that. I don't think it's much more than a year and a half, if that. Uh, series 10, I want to say, was this figure. Um, this 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 tells me that we may have a re-release of like a Billy Gunn uh, for a future Greatest Hits figure because this is not that old of a figure, but I'm happy that they re-released it. Uh, it's a nice figure. It's a nice figure. It captures DDP um, in his lesser character, I want to say, but the articulation is very nice for this figure. And uh, not articulation, I mean to say the artwork. The artwork on his vest is freaking impeccable. Like, this is this is an awesome figure artwork-wise, for sure. The artwork is, is second to none. Great artwork on that figure. Oh, man, I was going to hold this one off till the end, but it's in the box right now. The Grail! This is the freaking Grail, guys. King... Harley Race, the figure that only comes one to a case, which means that it's going to be super hard to find, super hard to find for people in stores. If you can find multiples, grab multiples and sell them to people that you know are going to need them because this is a figure that everybody's going to be after. So King Harley Race came out in the Elite Flashback series. Um... Oftentimes, you would see multiple Shawn Michaels, uh, multiple Yokozunas, Gene Okerlunds, Alondra Blazes, but you rarely saw multiple King Harley races on the shelf. These went, uh, prices skyrocketed, and then they announced that they're going to re-release, and once again, these are going to go. Uh, just nice figure. Nice figure. I mean, look at that. Look at that robe. Look at that crown. That is freaking... King Harley Race to a T, man. 1986. Beautiful figure. This is the figure right here. That is the figure. All right, what else we got in here? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. We got Blue Tista. Another figure. I don't know how the heck we got this in a Greatest Hits. There were better Batista figures that they could have created. But this is uh, Elite... 33, I want to say, somewhere around there, 34, 33. So this is Batista when he returned at the Royal Rumble, and he started changing his look up a little bit, trying to be a little bit younger, 
didn't go over well with the crowd, but it did create a heel Batista that I thought was actually pretty darn good. And this is the figure that came out of that. Um, it's okay. It's okay. It kind of resembles his new Hollywood moniker, right? He leaves wrestling, does a movie, comes back, and this is the new Batista that we get. Um, for me, this one's nothing special. Nothing special. But, yeah, you know, it's a part of history. We got that. We always got to have one or two duds, right, per set. So, I'm guessing that's it. I'm guessing that's the one. Ah, next up, HBK Shawn Michaels. So this is Shawn Michaels from the WrestleMania 30 Elite set. If you guys remember, there was a Bret Hart, and there was also a Shawn Michaels as well. I grabbed the Bret Hart when I went to WrestleMania. did not grab the Shawn Michaels. I didn't think it was a special figure at the time. But here we go. We have another uh, re-release of that Shawn Michaels figure. I mean, it's actually a nice figure if you really take a look at it. I mean, it's nicely done. It's nicely done. You can't really go wrong with a with a Shawn Michaels figure. I mean, you really can't. And it captures the classic, like, DX attire as well with, like, the... It's not chain mail, because chain mail is what Triple H used to wear. Uh, but similar to that, in a way, I would say. I mean, this is WrestleMania 14 attire. This is, like, classic attire for Shawn Michaels right before he left and came back as the born-again Christian Shawn Michaels. This is the last of the degenerate Shawn Michaels that we would get in figure form. So this is uh, this is really cool. This is really cool. These come two to a case. Uh, so that means I have a second Shawn, and then we have <laughs> Hall of Champions Undertaker. Re-release of the Hall of Champions Taker. This is my favorite version of Undertaker. I want to go out on a limb and say this is my favorite Taker figure. Uh, just because this captures what could have been of Undertaker. Before he got hurt and injured and came back as, you know, the biker riding Taker. Tag Team Championships from 1999. Him and Big Show won the tag titles from X-Pac and Kane. And I always thought that just this was just a really nice figure. It didn't come with any extras, just the World Tag Team titles and two extra, um, like, hands. Nothing extra. No robes. None of that, you know, crazy stuff that Taker's known for. This is my favorite version of an Undertaker figure. Just really nicely done. And it looks good. It looks good. Straight to the point. No fluff. And that's that's what I like. So, guys, that's the full set of six greatest hits. We got Taker... We got Seth, we got DDP, we got King Harley Race, we have Batista, and we have Shawn Michaels. And guys, I have these available right now in my store, BodySlamToys.com. I have every figure left but Harley Race at this point. Harley Race went almost immediately, but I have every other figure available if you guys need it, if you aren't seeing it in stores. Hop over to BodySlamToys.com. I got you covered. And I have more Harleys coming next week. So if you guys need Harleys, let me know. I might be able to hook you up. So thanks for watching, guys. I will catch you on the next video. Do not forget to like, comment, most importantly, subscribe to the channel. Become a part of the wrestling lifestyle. And I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.